Hey guys, how you doing? Mowers and blowers here again. Today is a nice 63 degrees here in Long Island and uh, this uh, yard bug has been uh, hibernating the entire winter. Uh, winter's not quite over just yet. However, um, you know, today's a nice enough day for me to uh, try out the yard bug after I fixed all that stuff. You guys know I got this for 50 bucks and uh, you know, I changed the battery and uh, starter, solenoid, all that stuff. Uh, you know, I didn't spend too much money on it. I think I'm in it for about maybe 80 to 100 bucks total. So it's a good deal, you know. Um, looked great, right? Um, always liked the shape of the yard bug. Always wanted it. Anyway, I'm going to do a time lapse on just uh, hovering around my yard today. There's not a whole lot of leaves, just a little bit. But uh, we'll try to pick up most of it. It uh, rained yesterday, so it's wet. Don't know how much I'm going to be able to pick up, but uh, got rid of my uh, pool. I got a crop circle there, so I got to do some tilling later. But uh, I'm going to mow over it and see if I can clean it up the best I can. Anyway, I'm going to do a time lapse now. sliding all over the place in the mud and uh, you know you can see that it's disgusting I have to change the front tires they're bald so I was sliding around like crazy so the grass is really wet and uh, you know it, it picked up what it could you know uh, the pain in the butt is that you know it doesn't fill up that much so once you do one pass and this thing is full you gotta stop and take it out again and uh, the way it works is you know this lever opens up the hatch and all that stuff comes out. Well, if you have a bag, it's difficult to um, you know, put it in. You almost have to bag line a garbage can, right? And uh, if you bag line a garbage can and dump that, it's easier. But uh, you tend to make a mess when you're trying to do dump it right into a bag. So that's a bad thing about this. I don't have the mulcher kit, which I suppose you could just put a phone book in there and block it, you know, so you can just mulch and not have to do this, which is probably what I would do. But, um, you know, this is an all-in-one enclosed bag carrier. And it's pretty easy to, you know, you just put it in and it's ready to go, right? And you're done, lift it out and dump it, you know? So it's pretty easy. But uh, ran pretty well. It You cannot mow when you're going backwards. So that's what I don't like. I had to disengage the PTO just to go backwards, you know, so I didn't like that. It's a pain. I, I guess it's for, you know, safety reasons and all. But uh, sure looks cool, doesn't it? These lines. This is all uh, steel. It's not, it's not uh, plastic. So it's a steel molded uh, body. It's very cool. Sure is cute. And uh, it's uh, small and it's narrow. I believe it's only 25 or 30 inches wide on the uh, cutting width. So you can get it through, you know, uh, PVC fence doors like mine. You know, um, the other John Deere 46 and the Murray 46 twin opposed mowers I have won't even fit through that gate so it's pretty useless to me I'll probably sell those but uh, this is cool I'll probably keep it it uh, there was nothing to it I mean you know the controls over here do seem a little um, overwhelming but uh, this is the height the deck height that's all the way high it's all the way low you get the picture right the key run and then start. This is the PTO with a lock. This is the forward. Up top is forward. The middle is neutral and back is reverse. Here's the throttle. Full choke. Full choke that way. And then uh, run 
and then uh, low uh, throttle. These aren't the original handles. This is obviously not the original um, cover for the steering column. That is not the original uh, lever for that either. I had to, you know, makeshift them because they I didn't have them when I got it. It's okay though. Um, obviously, this is the brake, and this is the gas pedal. And you can see here, you got the rabbit and the turtle. Oh, this is the uh, the you know where you keep it brake uh, keep it in brake parking brake if you will. Anyway, so it's uh, it's almost zero turn. You know, uh, once I got to a corner, I could turn this pretty much all the way. See, with that turning radius, man. See that? Turning radius is really good. But if you're going too fast, you know, and you have ball tires in the front, watch out. You're going to slide and run into whatever you're doing. So it's the uh, Craftsman Yard Bug DRM 500. They call it a Yard Bug, but it doesn't say Yard Bug anywhere. But it's a good little machine, man. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm in it for about 80 bucks. And uh, anything above that, you know, I, I mean, I want like 500 for it, but, you know, my, the draw is that you don't see many of these at all. So it's rare, you know, and uh, in this condition, you know, running perfectly and, and all that, uh, it's missing a few things, of course, you know, from original, but, you know, it's pretty complete, you know, and uh, somebody would want it, somebody with money, but, uh. Anyway, so that's my review of the uh, Craftsman Yardbug DRM500. See you guys next time on Motors and Blowers.